Sagittarius. Welcome to the Taurus new moon. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a reading for May for Sagittarius and for this new moon to see what spirit has to say, um, what energies are working with you and all of the things. Okay. Sagittarius, I am Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to We Are Magic. This is a spiritual related channel that will enlighten you to your inner magician and your higher self. Okay. It's not always about tarot. Um, Sagittarius, if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on when I post new videos. Okay. Um, this is a general reading. So if it does not resonate, take what leaves or take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, you may want to also check your moon sign and your rising and your Venus. Okay. All right. So for the new moon in Taurus, um, Taurus deals a lot with speaking your truth, throat chakra, Adam's apple, things of that nature, all voice related, you know, truth related. So um, with that and the retrogrades that are currently happening right now, seems like everybody's reading has a lot to do with growth and they're getting the exact same cards no matter how I shuffle them, no matter what's what I do. It's just everyone's getting the same cards. So with that being said, that is your warning, Sagittarius. Um, with Saturn and retrograde, you know, that deals with rules, restrictions, you know, regulations, limitations, things like that. Um, with that going on, <clears throat> Pluto's in retrograde, and that's all about, you know, killing off whatever that does not serve you anymore. Um, Pluto is all about expansion and basically uh, this right here. So yeah, if it's not for your highest good, then um, it's just not going to work. So they're going to remove it. And Mercury will, be, Mercury will be going retrograde also. So we're in a shadow of that. So yeah, a lot of shenanigans going on right now, Sag. But this is for our new moon in Taurus and new moons, um, new beginnings, new growth, um, planting your seeds of what you would like to manifest, what your intentions are. So this is the time to do it. I will be doing it myself later after I get off work. Um, but yeah, so I'm literally on my lunch right now, Sagittarius, doing this reading for you guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you, spirit. This is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, or anywhere it is prevalent in the buff chart. My fiery Sag. Thank you, spirit. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. You won't believe it. You won't believe what you got. <laughs> New moon in Taurus. <laughs> Y'all the first ones to get it. What? Sagittarius, already won. Prosperity lies ahead, Sagittarius. This is your card. You've got the new moon in Taurus. In a new moon in Taurus reading. You can't get better than that. Okay. All right. So I will read the guidance for the new moon in Taurus. <clears throat> it's crazy. I can't believe y'all got that. All right. Such a beautiful card. Look at that bull. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. Sag, what? The card suggests you can want... You, yeah, sorry, let me do this again. The cards suggest you can have what you want, including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with the luxurious Venus and this card holds the new moon energy. So now is a good time to make a 12 month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of a sexier time. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon and sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. So you're attuned to the moon as this edge. Get or give a massage. Healthy body, healthy mind. So you can either love on yourself or love on someone, and, on someone else. 
Additional meanings for this card, guys. You will soon be able to afford a thing you're dreaming of. Okay. Getting clear on what you value most will help you find peace. Take some time out to pamper yourself. Start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small. Even if you could just put $20 a payday in, that would be even, that's great. You're starting somewhere. We often feel that it's somehow wrong to focus on our finances, but the truth is that money can make life far more comfortable from a physical point of view. Taurus knows this, and the new moon in Taurus is the time to work your magic to create the money you want so you can have the creature comforts you want. Remember, though, that someone else is still wishing for what you already have. Oh, guys. And so that's a message from Spirit saying there's nothing wrong with trying to go for the gold would also be very appreciative of what you already have okay beautiful spirit thank you for that beautiful all right so let's pull some tarot for the month ahead and for this new moon energy in taurus okay we've got the card that never happens once the blue moon happens once once the blue moon but uh normally no it doesn't happen. Um, so Sag, um, picking up on your energies. Some of you are feeling anxious about something and maybe it is a financial thing. Um, it also may deal with um, work as well. I just heard schooling. Some of you may be starting school soon. College, university. If I have baby watchers right now, some of you may be starting high school. So I know I got me some Gen Z's up in this. I got Gen Z people. I love my Gen Z babies. Um, some of you are worried about um, relationships, I'm feeling. Um, just, this is the only message I can give you, Sag, when it comes to that stuff. You got to do what's right for you. You got to be happy with you. Make yourself happy. No one's going to make you happy but you. Okay, it is not your partner's job to make you happy, nor is it your job to make your partner happy. It is your job to be respectful and love one another. Okay, but if you don't love yourself and you're not happy with yourself, it's going to resonate. Okay, if you are um, insecure, um, stressed, jealous, if you feel like your partner's giving you a reason to be stressed or jealous and you're just not happy, then it's time to move on. That's what I've learned with all the crap I've been through recently. Sagittarius, I have been through a horrible time in relationships and um, the stress got me so bad that it sent me to the hospital and almost died. So that's what I'm saying. You've got to take care of yourself. Okay, Sag? No one's going to take care of you like you. This is for Sagittarius spirit. Sun, moon, rising. What messages do you have for this Taurus new moon for them and for the rest of the month of May? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. So the energy that you're in right now is the three of Taurus Sagittarius. You are disappointed. You feel like, a, like you've been taken advantage of, heartbroken. Um, some of you may be having a, this also represents long distance relationship, which is almost impossible to do. I know there are some people that make it work, but I'm going to tell you right now, that is almost impossible to do and you know it. And since your partner may be going long distance or you may be going long, y'all may be moving away from each other. Um, it's just, you know, deep down that's not going to work and it hurts because you love this person, but you got to do what's best for who. Sagittarius. Okay. Whew. All right. Something to move past. Okay. You have the King of Swords. All right. Um, you may be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Um, the King of Swords um, deals with intellect and thoughts. Okay. So for you to be a Sagittarius, you're having a very airy, intellectual higher mind um, reading so um, um, maybe the person that you are with is very intelligent um, a leader um, that a lot of times king of swords can represent someone who you know has 
they're in control of their thoughts, but they can come off like emotionless, so to speak. They're not really led by their emotions. They're more thinkers, always in their head. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, what's benefiting you this month is the Wheel of Fortune, though. Change of fortune. So new love, new career, new job, new school, new life. Um, Wheel of Fortune is a great card. I call it my universe card. Um, that is the angels, the spirit guides and ancestors are acknowledging that they see your heartbreak. They see your disappointment. They see your struggle. And they're showing you that by your patience, by you changing your thought patterns, you will have a change of fortune. Um, spiritual growth this month is the seven of cups. So you have all kinds of opportunities, whether that's a new job, um, new school, new loves, the world is your oyster. You get to pick and choose from whatever the universe wants to give you. Keep doing the three, six, nine manifestation if you're doing it. And if you're not doing it, look it up. Um, advice and encouragement about this month is the high priestess. Look at that. So your higher self is coming forward. That's your subconscious mind. That's your higher mind. So your higher self is letting you know that they are with you, that they are doing this will of fortune, a change of fortune in your life, that you are coming out of this energy right here because that's how you came into May. And with this new moon, you are going to start working on your manifestations. You're going to start saving your money. You're going to start doing things that's best for you. Under the deck energy is the hermit. Again, um, hermit doesn't mean hiding. Hermit means understanding, um, going within. Um, you're learning, Sagittarius, that it's you're not anybody's savior. And you cannot save things all right you can only save yourself all right so study grow get to know your higher self ask your higher self to embody you and to help you with your life because that's what i had to do um i've made my life a shit show doing it on my own and i had to let my higher self step forward and do what needs done what's best for me if it wasn't for my higher self i would not be alive right now real talk all right, you have the Ace of Pentacles, new growth, new expansion, new money opportunity coming to you, new material, new friendship. Um, Pentacles represents Earth. So, you know, that's um, the Capricorns, the Tauruses, and Virgo. Sorry, Virgo, I had a brain fart. Sorry. Anyway, but yes, that's that Earth sign, the grounding sign, the stability sign, you know, um, Go into Mother Nature, hiking, you know, it's springtime now, going in summer. So, you know, um, try to get into the woods, you know, ground, put yourself into that energy. Commune with Gaia. Listen to Mother Earth. Even she, even she has wisdom for you. Of course, Mother's going to tell us the right way. So now you have the Queen of Swords coming through. So they're telling you guys to embody this energy, okay? Come out of the emotional part of it and get onto your higher mind. This is a whole higher self reading. This, this is who's coming through for you. Your higher self is coming through for you. Okay. Um, and then you have temperance. Okay. So balance. Um, you are incorporating different aspects of your life, you know, from the physical to the spiritual. All right. Um, balancing your time. Work smarter, not harder. So that is beautiful. Beautiful, Sag. Okay. So um, that's a beautiful reading. Let me put these over here so I can see your cards. All right. So yes, you guys are stepping into your purpose. This you're, You have a more spiritual reading this time <clears throat> due, to, of, um, due to your heartbreak and all the disappointments you've had recently. Your higher self is stepping forward saying, yes, okay, you're hurt. We get it. Let's work on that. Let's work through it. You can't escape it. But what they're going to do is teach you how to grow from it. So when you're hurt, instead of being a victim and saying, why me? Which is what I went through recently. Um, why can I be happy? Why can't I do this, this and that? You're actually cursing yourself when you do that. So what you do is you look at that hurt or whatever that's bothered you and you use it for growth. You use it for learning and for expansion. Okay. And like I said, Go on Amazon, look up spiritual books about higher self and plenty of YouTube channels out here that will show you how to do that too. Okay. All right. Let's see what angel guidance you have, Sag. It's a beautiful reading. 
Yeah, you came into May pretty shitty. You did. But you're coming out beautiful. I, Queen of Swords energy? Shoot. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. That energy, that's a good energy to have. Okay? She's in control of her emotions. She thinks through things before she reacts. You know, that's not Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a whole fire. Just like, burn them with fire. You know, but what they're telling you to do is temperance. Temperance. See things from a different perspective. Um, whatever that did not work out for you that caused that three of swords, it's probably for your best good in the long run. Okay. All right. Thank you, spirit. What angel messages do we have for the Sagittarians for this new moon in Taurus? Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. composure see they really want you to control your emotions this month don't ignore them but feel them process them work through them learn from them you know it's not an understanding it's an understanding remember you have the hermit card you have the will of fortune to change of fortune you have the high priestess i mean that's a big deal you have the new moon and taurus coming out for you in the new moon of Taurus. So spirit is really, really working with you. I'll give you more guidance for composure. That pretty much speaks for itself. <laughs> but I know I like reading out the book. I really do because they always have really good meanings to it. Okay. So take time to gather your thoughts and energy because there's a good chance that you're experiencing a buildup of frustration and annoyance at this time. Spirit doesn't lie. You are a passionate, loving, and joyful being, Sagittarius. But at the same time, you don't want to be taken for granted or underestimated. The warrior within you wants to rise up and fight and kill him a fire. I added that part. Or at least prove your skills, talents, and worth. But drawing this card indicates that right now you're not going to be respected or heard in the way that you deserve. Angel wisdom is guiding you to retreat, hermit, reflect, hermit, high priestess, and compose yourself before proceeding further temperance so take time to ask your angels and guides to help you compose your thoughts and your energy queen of swords know that the divine hand of god is upon this situation and everyone involved and there's no need to worry about anyone's karma but your own just retreat refuel and regain your composure that's beautiful sag extended message this card encourages you to step into the energy of equanimity Equanimity is a Zen-like state in which you refrain from reacting to a situation out of fear and separation. Right now, angels of pure divine light are helping you feel guarded and guided and encouraging you to recognize that you have an incredible force of love within you. You're going to be okay. I promise. Okay? The world is not over. I just went through a horrible divorce. Lost everything i didn't lose it i could have fought for it but i gave it up because my peace of mind is so much more important than the stuff that i bought and trust me i bought it all even a down payment on the house anyway see what i'm saying i'm bitter i'm bitter too i know how you feel Sagittarius. but at least I can walk away from this with Dharma and no karma because I did no wrong. I did no wrong. Was I perfect? Absolutely not. Was I malicious? malicious? Absolutely not. Okay. There's always so much a human being can take before you just can't take anymore. Okay. And just because you love someone and still want the best for them, no matter how mean they are, that is not your problem. That is their problem. All you got to do is worry about you. And that's what I'm doing for the rest of my life. I take care of my sons, my mom, my sister, my closest friends, and that's it. All other outside entities, if they cannot respect me and they cannot understand me, they can't be in my life. Because I got to do what's best for me. And that may, that may sound selfish, but... 
That's what they teach us about self-love. They don't want you to love yourself. They, when I say they, you know who they are. They, from the very beginning, will tell you that self-love is selfish and conceited. And that's a fucking lie. Because if they got you hating yourself, you'll let anybody else treat you any kind of way. So always love and value yourself as the God and Goddess you are, Sagittarius. Okay? So right now, I'm shuffling the Divine Power Affirmations deck from Christina Jerry because we're going to have a Divine Affirmation for Sagittarius for this new moon. Okay? Last shuffle, Spirit. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, wow. This is for you and me. I show up in my darkness so I can show up in my light. Boom. I show up in my darkness so I can show up in my light. Dark and light are one and the same. Okay. The universe, space, the ground, mother, dark. The void, dark. When you plant a seed, it doesn't go in the light. In order for the seed to grow, it has to go into the dark, into the womb of Mother Earth. Okay? So with people on YouTube and Instagram and all these influencers that don't know a fucking thing about spirituality or ancestral wisdom are spouting this racist is what it is. I don't give a fuck who I offend right now. This light, dark shit is nothing but racism. And we're over the shits. And when I say we, we're over the shits. Okay, so light was born from dark. Dark was first because dark is mother because that's how it grows. And then there's light. Okay, it's all one in source creator. We are not separate. Okay, dark is not evil. Neither is dark wicked. By you out here saying dark is wicked and evil, you are calling mother wicked and evil. You're calling earth, mother earth, wicked and and evil. You're calling the night wicked and evil where you rest and you sleep and you recuperate. See what I'm saying? So you accept your shadow and you heal that shadow because your shadow is you. It's not the devil. The devil doesn't make you do a damn thing. It is you. It is your choices. And as long as you keep you know, projecting onto everyone else about the problems you have, you will constantly be the victim. The only way we can come out of the darkness into light is to grow and to learn and to accept the pain and accept the lessons and just to learn and continuously learn so we can ascend and become our greatest version, our higher self. Okay, Sagittarius? And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm channeling it. That is your spiritual message from your higher self. You are a divine, perfect being made from source creator, the most high God and goddess. Remember, there's both mother and the father. It's not just a bunch of swinging dicks out there. There are women too. Sorry, guys. But anyway, my poor little salt lamp. You know what I did, Sagittarius? I dropped it and I think I messed up my bulb. Yep, that's exactly what I did. Burned it out. Look at that. Anyway, um, Sagittarius, thank you for uh, tuning in. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And uh, sorry I'm doing this on the camera, but, you know, like I said, we keep it real here and we are magic land. And if this resonates with you, sweethearts, I, it resonated with me and I'm not even a Sagittarius. But um, guys, you're going to be okay. Just keep your composure. Don't catch a charge. Stay out of jail. And I love you. And I appreciate you. And remember, we are magic and we are one. Ashe. Ashe, Ashe, I love you so much. Thank you. And I will talk to you soon.